Brothers, we all know that I'm a Doomfist main, and I have a pretty sizable collection of his skins, but sadly I don't have them all. And it will be more expensive to buy them all than just to buy another copy of Overwatch 1. But today we're going to be ranking each and every Doomfist skin. From everything in my collection to the things that I wish I had in my collection. Now obviously we have to start off with the original Doomfist skin in Overwatch 2. Now for the original Doomfist skin, it, 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 it's alright. It's alright. It, it gets the job done. It shows you exactly who this man is, and it really shows you what his weapon of choice is in combat. In my opinion, the skin is nice. It's more detailed than a lot of other skins in Overwatch 2, and it has a lot of personality in it. You can really tell that, yo, this man's an African warrior. This man's a young god. Wait, isn't he like 35, 40? Well, you know what? He's a middle-aged god. I would say this skin, just from nostalgia's sake, is an A. You know, I, it's an A. It's an A, that's all I can say, it's an A. What else do you want from me? Now, for the Overwatch 2 original Doomfist skin. That boy ballin'. You see the fur on his coat, ayo. Doomfist was handling business out there. Talita gave him a raise in Overwatch 2. This Doomfist skin is better than most paid skins right now in Overwatch 2. They give this one out for free. For some reason, they thought the Junker Queen legendary skin should have been worth like $15. Nah, this should have been worth like $15. And they just give this one out for free. Look at that. You cannot say that this man does not look clean as hell. The only thing that I hate about this Doomfist skin is that he loses a lot of the war paint that he used to have on its original skin. Now, I don't know if that's supposed to be canon. Like, now Doomfist then came up. Now he's no longer just busting Overwatch's heads. Now he's busting government agents' heads. And, you know, he's getting paid more or what? But, oh my god. God, this is such a good skin. I just missed the war paint. That's it. It's not really all that bad. This is also an A tier skin. Also an A tier skin. I, I I very much enjoy this one. It is a really, 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 really good skin. Look at this. Such a good skin, man. Now you boys already know. I don't even have to say anything. We all agree, right? S tier. I mean, like, just look at this skin, man. I'm so happy I got this skin in my collection. Damn, that man got a flat ass. Still, I got, I'm so happy I got this skin in my collection. Oh, it's so good. Just automatic S tier, man. Really good skin. God, I love Black Hand Doomfist. God, this is one of, if not the best skins in Overwatch 2 in general. This man is at least top five picks. Now, for some of the more niche Doomfist skins, this one's the caution skin. I'm gonna be honest, it's not bad at all. But I, for some reason, I just don't like it at all. I don't know why. It's maybe the gauntlet. It may be just, I'm not a big yellow fan slash gray. <laughs> and there's a lot of gray on this man. But in my opinion, it's not my favorite. It's more of a, I would say D tier for me. If you think he deserves a better spot on the list, tell me in the comments down below. But I think this is a, a D tier. Like, this is not my favorite skin at all. I could do without this skin. Now for the slight upgrade to the Caution skin. The Urn skin. I actually like this skin a lot more than the Caution skin. I don't use this skin at all. Still, I'd rather use Black Hand or a couple other Doomfist skins that I have that we're going to go over over this Urn skin. But I do like it a lot more than the Caution skin. The green and silver really does look good. It looks way better than the yellow and like gray and orange and blue that they have. I feel like the caution skin was just thrown together haphazardly. And this one was actually slightly more thought out. Like, I like this one a lot. This is a really good skin. But not good enough to beat out any of my other choices. This is still, a, like, a C-tier skin. It's an upgrade from the caution skin, but it still has its problems and its flaws. And I just don't like the design at all. Now, on to a good skin, man. Ooh, I love this avatar skin for Doomfist. Yo, with the little, like, kind of Arissa face on his gauntlet. Oh, man, that's so cool. Avatar skin for Doomfist, hands down. A tier. I love this skin. I love it. I love it a lot. It's a really, 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 really good skin. I love the detail on it. I love who designed it, whoever did it. You deserve a raise. You actually enjoyed your job. This is a really good skin. I very much love it. Well, we just did Avatar. We might as well do Spirit next. And just to save us some time, it's literally the exact same skin. It's also an A tier. I mean, like, both of them are pretty good. It doesn't matter which color you get. They're both really good skins. 
Now, moving on to Doomfist Karate skin. It's actually a really good skin, but I'm gonna be honest, I kinda am not feeling this one over a lot of his other skins. Don't get me wrong, this is a really good skin. Like, I like how he doesn't just have a padded glove on his gauntlet, but he also put one on his hand too, which is an amazing little detail that, I'm gonna be honest, they really didn't even have to add. Most people wouldn't have complained at all, but it's just those little details that makes the skin just that much better. Now, it's not an A tier, but it's also not a C tier or a D tier skin. And we haven't had a B tier skin yet, so guess where this one is going, boys? So, yeah, this is editing me, and I just realized how bad of an idea using 1440p footage for all the images were. So, we're gonna just switch over to, you know, pictures for the rest of the skins for Doomfist, alright? I, I hope you all don't mind. Let's get back to the video. Now, the next skin, which is... I'm gonna be honest, one of my favorite skins for Doomfist. Ah, oh, it's up there, man. It's up there. The Swamp Monster skin for Doomfist. Oh, yeah, baby. This is what does it for me. Oh, these skins where they actually take their time with the detail and they just add in every little perfection detail that they can. It just really gets my rocks off. Like, I'm gonna be honest, he has a lot of really good skins, but the Swamp Monster skin is up there. The Swamp Monster skin for Doomfist, for me, is an S tier pick. I'm like, just look at the spikes on the fist, the spikes on his shoulder guard, all the fins that flap around. One thing I don't get is why does he have gills on his calves? Like, that doesn't make any sense at all. But we'll skip past that. All around, an amazing skin. Swamp Monster Doomfist, mwah, chef's kiss, best skin. On to the next skin for Doomfist, his Jotun, Jotun, Jotun? I'm, I'm assuming the name is Jotun. His Nordic God skin. Now, this is a pretty cool skin. I like how he has like ice on the gauntlet and then he has like his whole little, what is this, kilt thing? I don't know. I love the helmet. Ah, this is just an all around good skin. Hell, even the little details in his tattoos on this skin. It's amazing. Ah, this is just such a good skin. I'm gonna be honest, it's not an S tier. Like, it's a really good skin, but it's not an S tier. But it is an A tier skin. Like, this is hands down a really good skin. One of his best. Well, boys, we've came to that part of the video where it gets weird. Now, we're moving on to Doomfist's kinkiest skin. His Talon skin. Now, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a straight man, but damn the Mavs, baby. <laughs> Yo, this Doomfist skin is pretty, it's pretty kinky. I'm like, this man got straps. What is that, like leather pants with rivets in it? Doomfist's whole arm is encased in, I'm assuming latex, knowing this kinky motherfucker. He got his abs out. I don't know what this is, but it might as well be called the magic wand because he is not punching anyone with this shit. This is straight up for pleasure only. This Doomfist talent skin is iconic to anyone that knows anything about the Overwatch lore. Just like every other talent skin in Overwatch 2, this is a work of art. This is real talent and passion was poured into this. Unlike a lot of the other newer skins, like this is an actual lore based skin that ties into all the other characters in the lore. And because this skin is essentially iconic, if you're into any talent lore at all, S tier. Yeah, I said S tier. What you gonna do about it? Yeah, I'm putting another one in S tier. Fight me about it. Now, it's time for my favorite part of the video. I get to show you guys the best skin in Overwatch 2. Hands down, there is no other skin that is as good as this. This skin literally came out of the Overwatch Masquerade comic. And it is the formal Doomfist skin. Oh my god, just look at it. Just look at it. This man got a whole Ferrari break on his fist. Oh, his fist is clean. The lines, the details. His suit is immaculate. Bro, best skin hands down in the game. I mean, like, boys, you can't name a better skin than this in the game. Please, you cannot. Th this is the only skin in the game. This is the only skin that should be in the game. Everyone should be wearing suits like Doomfist. Actually, you know what? That doesn't even sound like a bad skin line. I'm like, just look at this man. This man is dressed to death. I'm like, just look at this man. He got the penny loafers on with the gold tips. Hey, my man got the slacks on, the blazer with the fucking button up with a little bit of his chest poking out. Hey, my man is stunting on these hoes. You already know, this is an S tier skin. Don't ask me why, don't ask me how. 
You already know that this is an S tier skin. Man, nothing can compete with that skin. I wouldn't even mind if any of y'all even clicked off at this point because the rest of the skins, I'm just gonna go through them really quick. Gladiator skin, C tier. It's a pretty cool skin, but just not as good as I wanted it to be. Doomfist general skin, B tier. It's a pretty cool skin. I would rock it if I had no other skin. Really good design, but all in all, I'd rather play with any other skin that I have instead of this one, but it's not a bad one. Let's do a two for one here. Leopard and Carbon Fiber, both D tier trash get him out of here doomfist painted skin i would say b tier it's a pretty good skin like i don't mind this one it's a really good skin uh hard to pronounce name for this doomfist skin that no one wants to actually buy because it's trash d tier it's not a good skin no one even tried with this one and let's just finish off all four of the rare skins all together i'm just gonna use one of the pictures for them all c tier they're not bad they're not bad at all. They're not worth any money at all. Do not buy them. But they're not bad. But don't buy them. You might as well just spend your money on one of these other better skins. That is worth like, what, $10, $15. But boys, this is my list of all the Doomfist skins in Overwatch 2. What do you guys think? Did I get it right? Did I get it wrong? What is your order of the list? Tell me in the comments down below. But if you guys haven't seen it yet, Hansel got a really cool new skin video right here. Other than that, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.